why did these countries' names all end in Stan? Short answer, it's the Persian word for country, derived from the root sta, meaning to stand. A stan is literally a place where a specific people lives. Turkmen's stand in Turkmenistan, Kyrgyz stand in Kyrgyzstan. Iranian languages have been using stan for millennia. Here it is in an inscription of Xerxes. And Persian influence on neighboring languages explains why all seven sovereign stans are contiguous with Iran. Iran itself has five stans as provinces, and its word for province is Ostan. But the term's origin long predates written language, let alone modern nations, so there are many more stans than these including administrative regions, active independence movements, and historical regions. Stan meant place over 4,000 years ago in Proto-Indo-Iranian, the branch of Indo-European ancestral to both Old Persian and Sanskrit. So the Indian state of Rajasthan, land of kings, is a stan too. The word especially spread north, to Armenia and to Turkestan, the land of the Turks. All of this vast area of Eurasia could be considered Stanistan, the land where the lands are called stan. In the same way, this area could be called Landland, land, the land where the lands are called land. Just as European colonizers named other places land as they spread around the world, foreign places were called Stan by Persian geographers, like Hindustan, the land beyond the Indus River, and Firangistan, the land of the Franks of Western Europe. Meanwhile, Europeans had inherited their own versions of Stan from Proto-Indo-European, the 6,000-year-old common ancestor of most of the languages of Europe and South Asia. As these related languages spread on horseback, the root sta evolved into thousands of forms, many of them horse-related. Stallions, steeds, and stables to make sure they stayed still. Slavic uses of stan seem closest to the Persian idea of a stan as a place that is dwelled in and defended. Stan is the Czech word for a tent, the Bulgarian word for a camp, and the Serbian, Croatian, and Bosnian word for an apartment. Russian once used stan for a type of police district, and Cossack settlements, organized along military lines, are called stanitsas. So it was natural for the Russian Empire to understand, and to adopt Stan in place names, as it spread into Central Asia in competition with the British Empire. The name Afghanistan, Land of the Afghans, is found in thousand-year-old Persian geography texts, but its modern boundaries were fixed as a buffer state between British Hindustan and Russian Turkestan. Stans abounded under Russian and Soviet rule, giving us the names of Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan, the Autonomous Republic of Karakalpakstan, and also several federal subjects of the Russian Federation, Tatarstan, Bashkortostan, Dagestan, and North Ossetia. Pakistan is a modern constructed name, chosen both to mean land of the pure, and as an acronym for its regions, Punjab, Afghan, Kashmir, Sindh, Balochistan. But we're not quite done, even as we round out Asia with revolutionary Kurdistan. Remember that root sta? It also became the English word state, through Latin status. The United States is a stan too. English speakers, like Russian speakers and Persian speakers, are linguistic descendants of the Indo-European people. When they established settlements in the Great Plains states, they built homesteads much like the stanitsas of their Cossack cousins on a grassland half a world away. One word from the steppes of Kazakhstan to the prairies of Dakotastan. Its historical connection to Russia, Iran, and Central Asia gives the word stan a 200-year-old connotation of foreignness and conflict in UK and US English encouraging new coinages that range from cute to exoticizing to pejorative and racist. But Stan turns out not to be foreign to the West at all. Instead, it is intimately connected through ancient wagons and links that cross plains and oceans. It is not so distant after all.